I genuinely do think that is the question that every Wrexham FC fan is going to be asking at the minute. We're back. It's been quite a while since I've sat down and done a video, nearly a week now today, but obviously returning to school and stuff, you've got to have your priorities. But we're back today recording a video and have a guess who it's on. The two absolute heroes, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. Before we get into today's video, if there is any new people watching this, it doesn't matter where you're from around the world, you can click the subscribe button for free. We are going for 6,000 subscribers, so if there's any new Wrexham FC followers from around the world, please get down there and subscribe for Match Day Vlogs and Wrexham content coming from a Wrexham fan. Now, with Wrexham doing well, the Welcome to Wrexham documentary is a hit around the world at the moment. I think it's only right and it's about time that we talk about the two men that made this journey possible. So we're going to be talking first about how the documentary has helped the club grow. Obviously, since the opening episodes of the documentary went live, We've recorded the social media figures and how they've changed over the course of the episodes. TikTok was on 407,000, it's now risen to 434,600, so that's a 27.6 thousand increase. The YouTube channel went from 21,700 to 29,300, a 7,600 increase. Instagram rose from 131,000 to 161,000, that's the biggest increase of followers, 30,000 to be exact. Twitter went from 143,900 to 165,100, a 21,200 increase, and Facebook went from 56. 1,889 to 73,000, a 16,111 increase. So as we've seen, there's thousands of new followers that have followed Wrexham across all social medias. Obviously, before the documentary was aired across the whole world, we had gained hundreds of thousands of new followers across all the social medias, but the important thing is we have gained new supporters of the club from loads of different countries around the world. Now, it's got to an extent where the shirts have been sold online and people are bidding for last season's shirts and they certainly aren't going cheap either. Wrexham's green away shirt from last year currently has 24 bids and is sitting on £190 on eBay. That is crazy and I've literally got it right here in a size medium so if anyone wants to buy this off me for £190 feel free. Rob and Ryan obviously didn't know too much about football before taking over Wrexham but now they've created a worldwide supported non-league club. Something like this has never happened before. This is a once in a lifetime what we are seeing. It's just crazy. They've turned people who didn't even like football, some probably didn't even know about football, to now being obsessed with it and a loving Wrexham Football Club. From the days of watching Wrexham in 2013 against the likes of Cambridge, Macclesfield, you know, when you could turn up to the race course, pay on the gate, and they're not even being 4,000 in the ground, to seeing it now that we've nearly, well, we are selling out every week, nearly 10,000 people are inside the race course, creating an incredible atmosphere, you know. 2013, we were watching Wrexham v Cambridge, probably about 3,500 people there. It's good for non-league, but compare it now to when we're playing the likes of Weldstone, Maidenhead, and we're getting nine, ten thousand. 10,000. It is mind-blowing. Obviously, the most important point that I just want to talk about is obviously we know all of these football owners across the world who don't care about the football club. They're there just to see it as another business and another source of income. With Rob and Ryan, it's totally the opposite. If you watch the Welcome to Wrexham documentary, documentary you'd have seen that Ryan described owning Wrexham as very time consuming, emotionally exhausting, financially idiotic and utterly addictive. It just shows how determined the duo are to take Wrexham up the leagues and to make them a really successful club and the day we get out of the National League and we get promoted to League 2 is the, going to be the best day of every Wrexham fan's lives. Like Rob and Ryan also said as well, there are going to be times where things just go completely wrong. And to be honest, we've seen a few of those so far this season. But like we said, that's all part of this magical journey that's happening at Wrexham Football Club. There are going to be bumps. We are going to be halted at times. But 
at the end of the day, you know, I would be happy if we stayed in the National League for another five, ten years if it meant Rob and Ryan stayed at the club because it just shows how appreciated they are by Wrexham fans and how good it is to finally have people who care about the club and wonderful, wonderful owners. Maybe I would care if we didn't get out of the National League in the next ten years. In the space of two years of owning Wrexham Football Club, the pair have done this. They've created a Welcome to Wrexham documentary. They've created and sold Wrexham labelled gin, which has been sold in loads of different places. They've gained TikTok, who have a £50 billion net worth as our main shirt sponsors in non-league. They're building a new 5,500 seated cop stand. They've took our average attendance from around 4,000 to 9,000 plus. They've got the majority of people from all around the world following Wrexham Football Club. They've built a top quality squad with a good manager in Phil Parkinson. And the most important thing, they've brought the community of Wrexham back together again. And they have given the reason for us to dream again. I think I've said it on a video before, but I'm just going to say it again quickly. Imagine going back to, let's say, 2019 or just before COVID-19 happened. We were sitting one point above getting relegated to the National League North. Imagine telling Wrexham fans back then who had seen it in through thick and thin that season. We, well, I didn't vlog them, but we were there for the majority of the home games and we made a few away games, but that was the worst season we've ever had. It was dire, it was painful to watch, but the reason we went is because we needed to support the club that we'd loved. We can't just give up easily when the team are doing well. We can't just stop supporting them and go and support a Premier League team. We've got to stay loyal to the club. And I feel like that's one of the main reasons why Rob and Ryan did take over the club. The loyal supporters we have, the thousands of people that turned up in numbers each week when we were doing horrific, when we were playing like a relegation battling team. If you told us back then when I was sitting in the cold road stand watching Wrexham get beaten by Aldershot Town 2-1 at home, that we were going to be taken over by Hollywood A-listers. You know, I can't respond on these videos because they're going to get demonetised, but I'm sure you can imagine what I would say. Obviously, now we're going to be talking a bit about why they created the documentary Welcome to Wrexham. To start off, it's a no-brainer that they did create this documentary considering the history the pair have in acting and how wonderful and how brilliant they are at doing their job. And not only will it create exposure for the club, it will potentially draw millions of eyeballs to the club. And most importantly as well, any profits made from Disney Plus and from the documentary go straight into the club, which is really good. It gives us a new source of revenue. It will obviously ensure Rob and Ryan can do any touches they need to be doing to the club. This is just a personal message from me on behalf of my YouTube channel and to Rob and Ryan and all the Wrexham fans. Now, two years ago in lockdown, I didn't really know what I was doing with myself. I was recording Premier League Championship videos. And I'll be honest, I was only doing them to chase the views on YouTube because I knew the views then in that period of time was very high. And I wasn't enjoying it. And it was only until I'd done a couple of videos that year, 2018, 19, 2019, 20, but not consistently. And then I had the bright idea in August 2020 that I think we knew the games were going to be streamed at home. So I thought, why not do these reactions from home, watching the game, get my dad on a few of them. That was the plan to do it for that season. And then the news came out that two people were interested in buying Wrexham Football Club. And it came out to be Rob and Ryan. And I thought, this is a no brainer. I'm going to go for it. The exposure the club is going to get and, you know, the eyeballs that will be drawn onto my YouTube channel from this will not only help me grow subscriber wise, but it's allowed me to do this opportunity and gain money from it, which, you know, is mind blowing to me. I cannot thank everyone who watches my videos enough because you just clicking on the video, liking it helps me out massively. And obviously I've said it before, but there's one video I would love to do. It is get Rob or Ryan on an interview. Will it ever happen? No. But I guess I can only dream if Rob or Ryan is watching this, there's a massive chance that they aren't. If they are, please just leave a comment. I don't think they will. But yeah, that is the dream. You know, from seeing them in the director boxes at Wrexham, they're like so close 
but yet so far from getting them on the channel. The day that if it happens will be absolutely incredible. So yeah, thank you to Rob and Ryan for giving the exposure to the club and helping my YouTube channel out. And thank you to everyone at home who does watch the videos. It does help massively help out. And to say we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers is words that I never thought would be coming out of my mouth. And let me know if you have watched the new latest episodes of the Welcome to Wrexham documentary. It's 20 past four now, it's raining outside and I'm going to cheer myself up by going to watch them. So yeah, take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video.